second day of being in the scale house. Let's go, baby. So I get here with the lunches and literally the truck's here. The head is here. No, nobody's here. Nothing else is here. And I'm like, mm. so either they got picked up by somebody else or something's going on. So I called Brandon, who was one of the persons I was supposed to pick up, Brandon and Roland. And they're literally back at the scale house just now eating lunch. So I must have passed them somehow. But I was supposed to be taking them back to the farm. So <laughs> communication skills are really good here. Well, at least the combine shows up. Okay, so Roland is back at the farm now, getting the grain cart. Mason's all good to go in the field, but I should say the most exciting part of that, besides the discombobulatedness, is that we're officially starting to harvest soybeans. And so that will be really exciting since we now have a soybean bin at our grain facility. And so they'll be coming to me to dump the beans versus they used to go to, I wanna say it was like a half hour away from us. So super convenient and super nice. Just got going on beans, big yield, uh, yeah, so just got set up doing beans, got 10 acres done, um, they're going good, they're dry, they're not much yield, pretty poor ground that they're on this year, thankfully we actually lucked out with putting beans here, because they wouldn't have grown much corn either. It is what it is this year. It's going good, got the 45 foot draper. Doing five and a half miles an hour. Samples as clean as it can get. Ground's clean, they're shattering in the head a little bit. They're, they're coming out pretty easy today. But not much you can do about that. They're real close to the bottom, the pods are. You know, they're right into the ground, so. It is what it is. We're going though, it's all that matters. Don't a lot of people turn the beans in today? No. That's not good. We get a sample from every truck to check for moisture and any debris in the beans. As you guys can see by the dust flying over there, Mason is behind me combining beans and I just unloaded my first semi of beans basically for the day that scale house has basically for the day the scale house has been super slow but to put into perspective what the yields are like that one semi was one whole field full and it's not like the smallest of fields that it was so I'll let you take with that what you want. Well, Mason is attaching the bean head behind me. I just want to say I successfully drove that from the field up to here, the last field up to here, and it nothing went wrong. So we did have some people pass us in a double yellow though. So to people who do that, please remember that is illegal. And it's illegal because we're trying to keep you safe and keep us safe. 
it's gonna be my PSA all harvest long. While he tries to get that out, we got some wreckage. That bearing is gone. So is that one for the clean, clean grain return. So I guess we gotta pull them out. Chavez. <laughs> He's even got good tires. I can't believe he got stuck. We only got three inches of rain. Yeah, we're gonna pick beans in a. 45 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Yep. I don't think we have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, look at that unit. Hey, I sent this through the... Did, did I tell you that? Sent that through the combine? Yeah. That rattled. Over it, dude. Good thing it's a New Holland. Tough. Least a gleaner would have... The rotor would have yeah, came at least, out. Yeah, you could have got the rotor out in five minutes or whatever. Yeah, that would have self-destructed that rotor. Yeah. Tin can rotor. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to hook that onto your belt loop, and I'll drive the truck. What's our plan here, though? Because we need the torch. Yeah, we're going to have to make a loop. Oh, get nice and close, you're saying? Make a full loop? I don't think the torch works. Yeah, it does. Oh. Perfect. All right, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, we got uh, quite a bit of rain over the weekend after we got done with them beans. Not done with them, but we got rained out on uh, Friday, maybe. So I think we ended up with like three inches of rain. So the beans themselves, I mean, the sun's shining, but the beans themselves are nice and dry, but the ground is wet. As you can see, we uh, got the service truck stuck there trying to get to my combine here, getting it fixed. but. We ended up getting a service truck out on the road and then just pulling the combine up next to it, which is probably what we should have done to start with, but oh well. Anyway, we're uh, moving to one of our custom jobs to start on some corn. We got corn and beans to do on this one, but uh, we're just going to work on some corn today while the ground dries out a little bit, so uh, I guess you'll see some of that. Mason's a little bit ahead of me with the track machine. That one goes quite a bit slower, but I've seen him a couple times in front of me, so I'm catching him. Um, pretty decent drive to get to this job, but we're almost there, so I guess the head is, both, both the corn heads are getting pulled up here, and I think tomorrow they'll, we'll see what the, we'll see what the fields look like, see how we get into things, but 
as soon as the beans will go, we'll probably switch back to them while they go. And in case we get a little another little sprinkle coming, I saw on my phone there's one on Thursday maybe coming. So we'll see. You got to go when you can on the beans. So nice to get them done while we can. And, but today we'll do some corn, and that's about all the further the plan needs to be because it'll change about six times before tonight anyway. So. That's the plan right now. Moving on to some corn. I don't know if you can see it up there, but uh, that's pretty good timing because that's my head pulling into the field. Can't do much better than that. much filmed yesterday of corn we were having kind of a hell of a time setting the combine at least this one Mason's was doing a pretty good job right away but we were struggling to get this one set to do a nice job so didn't film too much but we're working on beans today so got switched back over to beans sun shining dust is flying at the other side of the field. Get the grain cart sitting there. Hammer, not really even hammering them through. They're going through like water, so no complaints there. I can guarantee you one thing, a rock that big will really ruin your day. A little shop update before we go uh, picking beans again today. Dalton's getting the baler all ready for making some bedding. Got the T7 ready. Two pullers. Just chilling. Um, the old silver truck has a bad radiator in it. The idler went through the fan, which went through the radiator. So, yeah, that's fun. Forklift, just chilling. Grain cart, ready to go. So yeah, they're finishing up some corn silage today and then we'll have plenty of tractors around to get what we need done. But right now, if we had to, we would find a tractor, but for now it can wait. And we still have this little, this little ride here. So, and he's also got the other, that's our one of our merging tractors hooked up to the stock chopper for making bedding so yeah skid loader just chilling there he is the man the myth the legend scrolling zick i suppose mason too he's done he's done we don't want anything to do with it today to the next field. My 30 foot head fits a lot better down the road than that 45 does.
it more than three times you're playing with it, bud. 